Hello there, glamorous and grapevines. Welcome to Basically Misled. I'm Dagny. And I'm Day. We give advice. 50% is life changing, 50% will leave you crying in a stairwell by the end of the day. You decide which is which. Come procrastinate with us while we chatter endlessly about things you could probably just Google. Today's topic? Attraction. Wow. We're hitting the streets. Just kidding. We're in our office. <laughs> we'll never hit the streets. That takes too much work. Hey, we kind of hit the streets Scary. tonight. Just not with our microphone. <laughs> <laughs> we hit the streets yesterday, really. Yeah. Tonight. Yeah, we've been hitting the streets, but By not- hit the streets, we just mean we were walking around. Yeah, and it wasn't for, like, hitting people up. No. This topic is attraction. Although, you, you know think. what Day does people watch when she's walking around? Yeah. I Pokemon watch. It's a similar concept, except for I'm on Pokemon Go you know, watching for Pokemon. I was people watching a couple of nights ago when I was at a music thing. And it was really interesting because I got a little bored by the music that was being played. So I was just like observing so many different dynamics and like wondering oh did they like hook up because there okay there was this one woman who came up to this guy and they like hugged but he kind of seemed like he was angling himself away from her and like didn't really want to talk to her so then I was just observing this I was like oh my did they like hook up and now he's not interested but she's not getting the hint that would would you you hug someone you hooked up with well she went in for a hug he didn't mm. seem into it. I've definitely hugged at the end of hookups. <laughs> but never, like, later like, on. Like, hugged without kissing them? It's just like, bye. Yeah, I feel like... Huh. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. Anyway. Anyways. Back to attraction. Yeah. Attraction, I feel like, is a topic I think about a lot because I feel like it's it's part of... I feel like somehow it must be, like, very part of, like, my gay identity, but I don't really understand how it works. So that's why I think about it a lot. Mm. See, I feel like it's not part of my identity at all. Like, I don't know. I tend to, like, walk around, like, if I'm walking around, I, like, notice, oh, is that person attractive, or oh, is that person attractive? But I feel like it's not part of my identity who I'm attracted to. But I also am not gay, so maybe it's just gay people have a gay identity with attraction. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know. I mean, like, when I... I think it's because also I see... Especially when I see people who I'm, like, maybe, like, their gender is maybe not, like, very apparent. And it's kind of, like, am I attracted to them? Mm-hmm. I don't know. That actually, like, sounds kind of bad. But really, it's just, I feel like I'm, like, a little bit, I'm a little bit flexible. Yeah. With, like, gender who I'm attracted to. So it's, like, it's for my identity. It's not like I'm, like... I'm not using people, you know, I'm not like, oh, are you, like, no, I'm just, I'm just curious about myself, what Mm -hmm. I'm into. Okay. But I don't know. I guess I feel like I think about it a lot for something that when it matters, like, if I'm really into someone, then if it, if I'm really into someone, then it doesn't. This is probably all going to be sort of just, like, by the wayside. You know what I mean? Like, if you have features that you really like, or, like, things that you seem to be into overall, Mm -hmm. but then, like, the person you're really into that you may have, like, a very long relationship with, just kind of, like, I feel like I'm into people a lot more. Mm. Yeah. I mean, I feel like there are people that I'm attracted to, but then, like, I talk to them. I'm like, no, no, I'm not. We do not align with our beliefs or whatever. Um, and then there's people that I talk to and I'm like kind of attracted to. And then I talk to them. I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm more attracted to you. I don't know. Yeah. Well, I guess there's also you. And I feel like as far as I know, Me. most people, 
experience the whole thing of like if you're in a room such a group of people that you're spending like time with such as a class mm-hmm. and there's like people that you find nice to look at that's like a bonus for you oh yeah it's like exciting oh yeah just for the purpose of looking that's true i mean yeah like each time i have like a first day of class i'll be like Ooh, I gotta go to my class and see if anybody's attractive. Um, sorry to anybody who's from my class right now and listening to this. I don't find anybody in my class attractive, like, at all. And it's always been that way, so it's a little disappointing. But that's why I have work where sometimes attractive people walk in, sometimes they don't. Or, you know, people watching outside my window. Things like that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think it really, it really perplexes me, even though maybe this is a normal thing that other people experience and I'm just, I compare myself to you and like other people. Mm -hmm. And so then I think, and then I overthink it, I guess. But it very much perplexes me that I feel like I don't really have that experience. Okay. To be fair, I had that experience with uh, one person and you could probably argue that whole like feeling of like, oh, this person is pretty look at. I could probably have like maybe 30% of that feeling with like a few people mm-hmm. on days where I'm feeling especially frisky. Right? <laughs> there will be times where I feel like it and I think Dagny feels like we just have like surges of thinking people are attractive. Yeah. Like suddenly you look around and you're like, Oh, all these people who I didn't think were attractive actually are very attractive right now. For me, it's just that, like, certain people I like... I think that the thing that I didn't really notice about myself that I'll do is I'll kind of, like... And this is not all the time at all. This is only sometimes, but I'll, like, follow their hair. Like, from the top, like, all the way to the ends. And I'll just kind of, like, follow it around their face. And that's, like, where my eyes will go. And I'll realize I'm kind of doing that, like... You and, and a hair. rotation. And then I'm like... But the thing is, I used to not notice that as, like, what I think is maybe a sign that I'm kind of... That I like the, the way somebody yeah. looks. Because why am I repeatedly, like, looking over this? <laughs> right. Because it's very easy to, like, ignore, and I don't get, like... no, Like, I don't noticeably, noticeably enjoy it, unless I'm really mm-hmm. paying attention. Yeah. Also, I don't remember the last time there was, like, a surge of me being attracted to a bunch of people. Yeah, it's been months, a really long time. It was time. months ago. Yeah. Over seven months ago. Right. I feel like, yeah, a really long time ago. I don't know. There was, like, recently where um, I was, like, working with somebody and I was kind of, like, like, when I first started working with them, I was like, oh, okay, like, they're cute, but, like, eh, you know, and then, like, a couple weeks later, I was like, oh, wait, <laughs> and I was like, okay, <laughs> but I don't know what, like, brought on that, like, real interest. Your ovaries. <laughs> yeah, maybe my ovaries. Yeah. I don't know. It's not, Yeah. But anyway, I wanted to talk about your our personal definitions of like different phrases that people or different words slash phrases mm-hmm. that people use to describe how they're feeling about other people, usually like in a romantic or sexual way. Yeah. Like my favorite one is or not my favorite one, but the one I find most amusing for whatever reason is hot. Mm-hmm. Because to me, I don't use hot to describe anything in a genuine way unless I'm, like, kind... Like, I will jokingly say, oh, you look totally hot like that. Right. Always in a joke because I don't find people hot because, to me, hot means sexual attraction. And I'm like, I don't have that, so that's not how I would describe anything ever. Mm -hmm. But some asexuals use the word hot, like, regularly. Hmm. So... I think there's a variety of definitions. That's why I find it so amusing to, like, find out what hot means to people. I feel like there's, like, good-looking people and then there's, like, hot people. But that's is, it like, like, is it, like, a level of, like, sex appeal or, like... 
What is that to you? I think it's honestly that I don't think I could get with them. <laughs> <laughs> That's what makes someone hot? Unattainable. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um... Although I feel like I've been using the word hot less because I've gotten more comfortable with the word cute. Hmm. And I've been using that a lot lately. Or calling somebody sweet. Like, they're mm-hmm. so sweet. But I guess that's more of, like, a characteristic. Yeah. It's not, like, an attraction. But Plus it's attractive. Physical. This is a totally surface-level podcast. Oh, We're yeah. talking about the outside of the body. Okay. Figure out the inside. Sorry. Sorry. I can't help it. Um, surface level, yeah, I feel like I've been using the word cute more, um, but also, I don't know, I like using the word handsome when I'm talking to, like, somebody and they keep, like, Mm -hmm. calling me cute or whatever, um, then I feel like it's not, I don't know how they feel about it, but I like to... Throw in a little so handsome. what vibe is handsome? Also, I feel like, okay, to be fair, it's not totally surface level because I feel no. like a person's personality totally mixes with their appearance. Uh-huh. But it's like, I feel like their personality sometimes changes the way you interpret their appearance. Right. But it's still an interpretation of their appearance. Yeah. So, like, what vibe is handsome to you? If you've been using it more. Like, what is that <sighs> vibe? Because I'm just picturing, like, you know, like church kid like right like fresh out of church like with the plaid shirt but like kind of a wild look in the hair for like some oh that sounds good like <laughs> just a, a little bit of bad boy in the hair oh yeah the hair shows a lot but like you know, you but know, church in the church clothes. in the clothes yeah bad boy in the hair <laughs> <laughs> that should be a slogan we have on all of our merch um, we yeah. We should have merch. Huh? We should have merch. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Tell us, listeners, if you want us to <laughs> carry merch. Um, I think, yeah, it's like, it's maybe when they're looking especially nice, or when I'm just feeling affectionate, really. Okay, so like nice, like good and looking. nice appearance. Yeah, like they're put nice together in the face. a little more. Oh. Nice in the clothes. Yeah. Okay. Honestly, or they've just called me beautiful or something, and I don't know how to respond. So I call them <laughs> handsome. Yeah, one of those two. To me, handsome is like dogs. Yeah, like that's if right. you like, are, if you're like, what is like the vibe of handsome? I just picture like, like a German Shepherd, like yeah. a really cut German Shepherd, mm-hmm. handsome. Also, yeah. my dog Dakota. I mean, he's getting a little old, but like right. when he kind of stands, like with his like feet kind of like wide, he kind of puts his head up, kind of like he's got his you know stand like foot back, foot back. Mm-hmm. It's a handsome dog. <laughs> And so I don't really, like, I don't really know what the, I don't know. I think that, I mean, recently I've been trying to, like, work on a, I could apply it to people. Like, what would it be like to apply handsome to people? When I say recently, it's been uh, the past uh, 1.2 years. And let me tell you, integration is not going well. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. I can maybe see it, sort of, a little bit. But it doesn't really feel very genuine. I feel mm-hmm. like it's very hard to genuinely use the word. Yeah. Maybe if people are, like, looking... Like, if somebody was, like, wearing a suit, but it was crumpled and they looked really sad, that'd be, like, a handsome... <laughs> <word>. <laughs> really? Wow. I know it's very hard. It's I'm trying to, like, breathe. Oh going anywhere God. I can to apply to humans. <laughs> So they look kind of dog <laughs> Oh, man. I don't know. Wow. Okay, well, let's go into cute. Because I do find... Like, guys can be cute to me. Oh, yeah. But I guess that's pretty much all personality. Yeah. Well, no. It's more... It's their face. Yeah. Like a cute face. You find, um, Reed... From Criminal Minds, cute, right? No, no. No? 
Well, okay, because to me... He's pretty. He's pretty. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Guys are either cute like a puppy or pretty. Right. So, I don't think... I don't know if that's really attraction or whatever that falls under. Yeah. So, some guys are pretty. I feel like somebody can be attractive and you can be attracted to people. Like, I feel like there's Mm -hmm. kind of a difference. Yeah. So, they're like, I don't know, people can be pretty. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like girls are usually not pretty to me. Right. I feel like pretty, well, okay, in a general sense, most girls are pretty. I feel like it's just so low level. Mm-hmm. It's a very low level compliment. Yeah. No offense, guys, but it's really it's, it's impressive if you got to that level for a guy, but for a girl, it's, that's just basic, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. To me, cute. There's like a range, you know, because they're kind of like, oh, they're kind of cute, or like, oh, they're cute. Um, I don't know what really defines it for me because I feel like while I seem to have some select things I need, like they can't have long hair. I'm so unattracted to long hair. Um, I feel like my range is kind of broad. Like I've been attracted to a number of different types of people. But let me say, a lot of them were douchey looking, and that's what attracted <laughs> me to them. They either got like that douche vibe, or they just look really nice and sweet. I prefer the nice and sweet look. Yeah, I should probably get away from the douche look. I think I have been achieving it a little bit, maybe. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. So That's you said good. earlier that it's different to, like, find people attractive or, like, be attracted to. So, like, what is your, like, line for, like, I'm attracted to this person? Like, like if you would use that phrase. Or do you not really use that? I do, because I feel like it's a very... I don't think I you use, don't use that, that, really. What phrase do you use instead? Or do you not have a phrase like Like, oh, that? they look good. Oh, they're cute. That's just, that's just your whole... Yeah. I don't think I've ever been like, oh my god, I'm so, I'm attracted to this person. Well, like, I have, but, like, in in my mind, maybe, but that's, like, a rarity. That makes sense. I feel like it's a kind of unusual phrasing. I kind of, I kind of latched onto it as, like, it's, like, the attraction, it's, like, looking at asexuality, it's, like, the model of different attractions. Uh Uh-huh. And so I feel like I use that word more than other people. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I never, like, because, like, I feel like lately I've been, like, talking to you and texting one of my friends about just, like, cute people, and I'm, like, oh, I'm never, like, oh, my God, they're so attractive. I'm, like, oh, my God, they're so cute. Like, he's so sweet. I wonder if I use it because I have a hard time interpreting what I feel about it, and attractive is very umbrella to me. Right, yeah. It could mean anything. Right. What are you attracted to, Daphne? I don't know. This is... Now, this goes into... <laughs> how long does it take to notice you're attracted to yes, somebody? Yes, right, right, right. Because I seem to either... I don't... There's no one I've ever known for, like, a very short amount of time where I'm like, I'm so into, the like, your mm-hmm. whole vibe. Yeah. So, I'm currently working with a theory that I may be into shorter girls with red hair. (laughs) Yeah. And kind of shortish red hair. Not super long. Mm. Although not super, super short. Although maybe. Anyway. I'm working with this theory because it takes me so long. I have no idea. <laughs> right. Yeah. You were kind of like talking to me and you were like, what was your phrasing? Because it was kind of like she was not disturbed, but like weirded out. 
by like these girls she was seeing on Tinder with like red hair. And then she's like, oh my god, is this attractive? Like, am I attracted to these people? Yes. That, okay, because, so Tinder, as you can imagine for a person who can't tell if they're attracted to someone, is not really what, how you're supposed to do that, <laughs> for one. <laughs> the mechanism that you're supposed to use to decide for people. Um, I don't have that, so. <laughs> but I've noticed that it's that I'm irritated with the, the, right, the way they look. Right, irritated, it's like, yes. It's like, you know, if you, like, see, like, a line of pens, like, in a meme or something, and, like, one is slightly off. That's just mm-hmm. the only example I can think of. Or it's, like, pictures of things where something is slightly out of place, or, like, everything's in line except for one, and it's just, like, pictures meant to irritate people because yeah. you just want to fix one. Right. That's how I feel <laughs> about certain, about the way certain people look. Like, it's just something about it. I'm just like, oh, why? <laughs> and it's just like, I'm like making a face right now just thinking about it. And I'm like, no. But then I feel like later I kind of like it. Yeah. So I don't know what's happening there at all. No. I don't understand. What is your brain doing? So, How does it work? <laughs> I have no idea. So, so right now I'm like, if I seem to be like irritated with the way someone looks, I'm like, maybe that'll turn into something. And I'm like, swipe right. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I have a very quick response. It's like, oh, I find them attractive or, oh, I don't. But it can either build over time where the more I see like, see them. It doesn't even have to be that, like, I'm talking to them. Like, the more I see them, then I'm, the more I'm like, oh my gosh. Or, I guess this usually brings in personality. Because, like, I talk to them and then I just get disinterested. Right. Well, that's personality. Or, personality will usually yeah. enhance or decrease. Right. Like, however you feel about them. Right. So. Yeah. I don't know. I guess there's sometimes where... I'm, like, talking to somebody or looking at somebody, and then it takes me a little bit, and then I'm like, oh, they're attractive. <laughs> or, like, okay, Benedict Cumberbatch. This is, like, I feel like a lot, like, people either understand it or they do not. Because, like, I find him very attractive. But I was recently talking to somebody who was like, I don't get it. And I'm like, well, it wasn't, like, until I watched Sherlock that I was really into him. Oh, uh, nothing like a practical psychopath to get the girls. <laughs> right? <laughs> but then, like, I've watched Sherlock, and, like, I'm still not interested. And I'm like, okay, well, I recently watched um, a Showtime special he did. I forget the name of it. Yeah. I think it was, wait, no, it was Patrick Melrose, um, and I was still very attracted to him, but he's, like, a drug addict who, like, goes through a lot of midlife crises and, like, I don't know, but it's, like, damn, like, attractive, (laughs) but, yeah, I feel like some people, like, it took me a little while for that, I think I just had to see him work his magic, and then I was... Yeah. Sold. I mean, I have a lot of fondness for him, mm-hmm. basically because of Sherlock. Right. Because, yeah, because when I see him in things, I'm, well, also because of Doctor Strange. He's Doctor Strange and Sherlock. Yeah. Not that I'm super into Doctor Strange, but they're both geniuses mm-hmm. they, each time, and I do like watching genius He's also characters. He's smog, and somehow that makes me really attracted <laughs> to him. <laughs> From The Hobbit. <laughs> yeah, so it's more of, I just have a fondness for, like, his characters. Like, anyone who's played a superhero movie that I found not horrible, I like that person. Yeah. Yeah. But you're not, like, attracted to them. Although, okay, I'm not super into Captain Marvel, and I almost mm. wish I was more. But part of me is, like, maybe if I watch it... You know, 12 times over 10 years, then I'll, like, be pretty into her. Yeah, right. I mean, do you want to, I like, though, 
This mm-hmm. girl's in white t-shirts and jeans, and there's multiple scenes where she's wearing that in Captain Marvel, so I'm like, that's nice. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you do love a good plain white tee and jeans. I do. <laughs> I'm not sure why, because, yeah, no, I don't know why. No? No. No inklings? I have no idea. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, but I think that whole, like, you're very, like, snap decision thing is very common. Like, a fairly popular YouTuber we both know of describe it as, like, above the bar, below, below below the bar, like, Uh immediate, like, attraction. Right. Like, that was one of her descriptions. And I was like, for me, it's just, like, a giant gray area. Yeah. You poor thing. I love looking at attractive people. I know. I wish I could have that experience again, honestly. Because when I had, it was nice. Right. I like it a lot. But I don't know. I often am like, oh, they're attractive. No, they won't be interested in me. Okay, that's the that's an, that's another interesting thing, though, is that I think because I don't have a lot of opinions about attractiveness, mm-hmm. I have very little sense of leagues in any way. Yeah. So I don't think I would ever see someone, like any female, and think like, oh, she's out of my league. Except for career-wise. Yeah. <laughs> <If> I, <laughs> career-wise, the, yes, maybe like number mo- amount of money she makes, but maybe if I make a decent amount of money, that'll go away. But as a person in college who was like, please, can I have a good job someday? Right. <laughs> Uh, career, yes, a little bit, but other, but not based on appearance. There's no person I would look at based on their appearance and think, oh, they're too attractive for me. Because I feel wow. like classically, like very I wish hot. I had that. Well, because classically, like very hot people, I'm kind of like, you're not all that. It's whatever. Yeah. <laughs> so it all. So I think that that makes me very non-sympathetic when days like, oh, this person's so attractive to me, or they're so attractive, they'll like never be into me, and I'm just like, what are you talking about? You both are just like, it's just both how you look. <laughs> it's all yeah. fine. <laughs> I recently like had a person who I was just like, oh my gosh, like I feel like it was less about the attraction though, and more just like personality like would they be into my well would they be into my whole no yeah it was a little bit out of the league thing i was a little bit you like, have that strongly i have that constantly very strongly and like when they were interested i was just so surprised like for a very long time okay but the league thing confuses me because Okay, by definition, if you are either, like, very straight or very gay, you don't find... Okay, wait, not if you're very gay. If you're very straight, I was going to include that, but then I was like, wait, that's not the same. If you're very straight, you don't find your own gender attractive. So I don't understand, like, how would you know how attractive you are to other people when you don't find yourself... I know. Like, I don't that's, know. That's the it thing. doesn't make I sense. I find myself... Not attractive. So then when somebody's like, you're cute, I'm like, oh, you think so? <laughs> like, thank you. I don't know. I mean, I guess people have told me they find me attractive. Things like that. Also, I guess because I'm pretty much of the opinion that everybody finds somebody attractive. Right, but like, am I their attraction? Yeah, but I feel like, I, to me, that's just kind of, like, chance. And I don't really yeah. put that down to any way you look or don't look. Right. Like, anything you're doing or not doing. So then I'm like, I don't know. I think a lot of it is, like... That's not a weak thing. To people think. who have been attracted to me and, like, shown their interest mm-hmm. in my attraction, in my looks, um, I'm very much not into Okay, but I feel like So no. then when somebody is into me mm-hmm. and I'm into them, it's like, oh, what? Like, oh, this is really happening? Like, oh, but you're, like, so attractive. Like, 
Yeah, but I feel like percentage-wise, the amount of people that have hit on you versus the amount of people you've actually gotten with, which let's just assume for argument's sake that since you got with them, you were attracted to them. Yes, is, and they were attracted to me. Is pretty yes. even. It's not like, you yeah, know what I mean? No, it's probably higher on the people that I've gotten with than the people who have hit on me. Exactly. So when you're like, oh, people who hit on me are not. I'm like, no, most people. But see, I feel like I don't really count tinder in this category because yeah like i've gotten with them but also like i don't know maybe i should count tinder i think you should because i think otherwise you're just reroute my entire brain you should because otherwise you're just skewing your perspective to only people like only very low quality mates are attracted to me and that is not like why why carry that around (laughs) it's really just my (laughs) self-esteem has not been fully hyped up yet yeah yeah my confidence i feel like is up but now my self-esteem so you still feel bad about yourself you're just confident that even though you're crappy you can do stuff in the world (laughs) yes wow yes wow yeah i don't know it's it's not a skill that I'm using right now, to be fair. It's just a total, total obliviousness. Yeah. Do you think it's that you're oblivious to things? So then as time goes by, you recognize that it is actually attraction? Or do you think it's like once it... I don't know. I think... Okay, part of my theory is maybe it takes a while of watching someone's movements Mm -hmm. and knowing a tiny bit about who they are as a person Mm. because looking at the data so far i clearly didn't need to know that much but we have to account for the fact that i did know some things right about personality but also i feel like i saw more of like how people move and how they are like in life Yeah, let me say, it's, like, attractive to just see how somebody, like, deals with situations or even just how they, like, Mm -hmm. display their body. No, okay, that's a really weird phrasing, but, like, how... Display their body. I just, like, pictured, like, a mannequin immediately, and it's, like, (laughs) wearing, like, weird clothes. Yeah, exactly. No, but, like, how they position themselves in the world, I guess, through, like, their body language... The way they walk, how they dress. Let me tell you. Actually, sorry. This is going back a little bit. But clothes, they also are. I'm attracted to different type, Like certain clothing. I probably am. I just notice more. Well, I guess more. the white t-shirt and yeah, jeans. Right? But I do notice more when clothes are, clothes are more often off-putting than I'm attracted to. Them. Yeah. Like if so, like, I don't really like heels. Mm, yeah. And so I feel like it's certain clothing items or like the way certain things look. It's, it's not that it's more often not that I'm into anything, Mm -hmm. but that it's like a lack of off putting items. Yeah. (laughs) But I feel like a lot of it is like things that are classically meant to make girls look like more attractive. Right. And so that's kind of weird. Also, it's also occurring to me just now that I totally forgot to even talk about is that my current perception of, like, who is most attractive was built over time by people telling me. Mm. I assume, you know, like, Scarlett Johansson. Mm-hmm. Everyone's like, oh, she's so attractive. So, like, yeah. I'm aware that people that look kind of like that. And, like, when I see people who look a certain way, I'm kind of aware that they're on, like, kind of top-tier attraction. But because I learned that over time... So maybe it's because I like have this learned pyramid that some like that I've been trying to like figure out, and that's why I don't attribute much notice to it. Because mm-hmm. I don't, you don't feel like you had to learn that over time. You just kind of knew about it. You made your yeah, own. I made my own. Let me tell you, backwards cap and flannel. <laughs> oh my god! Or like those. I was talking with a friend about this today, like, just sportswear 
like as sports leisure wear. sports wear. <laughs> like those leggings that I've, I not leggings. I feel like they're like sweatpants that are tapered at the end at the bottom. Mm-hmm. And I just am coming up with the brand Adidas in my mind. They're usually black. They're, like, just very comfy looking. Oh, my gosh. To me, Adidas is the least attractive sportswear brand, actually. Well, let me tell you. To me, Nike is the Ooh. best. If someone's wearing Nike, I'm like, ooh. If someone's wearing Adidas, I'm kind of like, mm, okay. It's so more about the... serious brand. Like, I probably have something that's Adidas. Yeah. Well, okay. Anything on top. Fine, can be Adidas. Anything <laughs> on pants wise, shorts wise, no. Wow. Yeah. So I obviously have extremely specific standards. Yeah. But no, yeah, I was just talking about those leggings and like the like quarter zip up. Um, like I don't know, it's like a very thin fabric mm-hmm. that's like. Just oh, and yeah, there's like, like pants thing. that you like, right? Oh, Carhartts! I'm a big fan of Carhartts as well. <laughs> I know it's like, what is this style? I'm into. I feel like there's no one person like who wears all those. It's kind of a Pacific Northwest style. Yeah, all yeah. of it actually. True. Okay, wait, now I'm curious. Now I have to know. Oh god, is there like? I don't. Like for Halloween or something, like uh-huh. a costume that you feel like is the ultimate level of like attractiveness. Like if, like if, like if you picture. Why do I want to say douchey college boy? <laughs> douchey college boy is the Halloween costume you're most attracted to. Okay, like a frat boy's Halloween costume. Oh my god. Okay, maybe let's go with like your second <laughs> one because while that is obviously gold, I'd like to let's, like go a little farther. <laughs> <laughs> that's just the one, man. That's the only one. No. Like, like if some, like somebody you're attracted to now, if you could dress them up in something, what would it be? Because we were recently in a costume shop, and I was like thinking, I'm like, do people want to like? Do you want to see people dressed as like this sexy fireman? <laughs> Honestly, like, not really. Do she frat boy? <laughs> That's what Day's into. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Oh, man. I just see it now. <laughs> Don't really, like, see a specific outfit, but just, like, the vibe. It's just... Yeah. You know, I feel like I've made too many jokes about, like, flannels and how they're, like, lesbian. And so uh-huh. if I actually see someone wearing a flannel... Like a girl. I'm like, that's hilarious. <laughs> and I don't, because it's like the whole thing, you know, and I feel like I've accidentally made it. Now it's just funny to me. Mm-hmm. To be fair, I don't know anyone who regularly wears flannels. And so if I did, I'd probably. Like, I know. You know A someone? lesbian who does. You know a lesbian? Yeah. It's not me. Yeah. Where do they live? Oregon. Dang. Okay, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Did you want to get with them? No, you give me a weird look every time I joke about any of getting together with any of your friends. Like, you give me a really weird look. Well, since they're taken right now, <laughs> so it's just out of the question. Sorry. Yeah, you can't get with any of my friends, apparently, if I give you a weird look. But she's not into it. No. She likes to keep all her... Lesbian friends separate, and they so they don't date, so that when they have girlfriends, she can claim that she knows more lesbians. Damn it, you caught on, Dagny. You caught on to my elaborate plan. Yeah. I, I now want to call you a lesbian collector, but honestly, that's not a funny joke at all. <laughs> Nobody should say that or joke about it. Wow. <laughs> but I would like to have more lesbian friends. Yeah, I have two. <laughs> no, I have more. I have more than that. Yeah, you definitely have more than that. Yeah. Don't give people your number, Day. Lesbians <laughs> my number? <laughs> what if I have to? No, like the number of people you're friends with. 
Oh, I don't want to even count that because I feel like I'd miss people. That's totally an appropriate day. Don't see people like that. They're more than their lesbian <laughs> status. Aha, uh-huh, miss on the hunt for lesbian friends. <laughs> but yeah, so Day, tell me, why did we bother talking about this for 41 minutes? I don't know. <laughs> like... I don't know. It's such a superficial conversation topic. Okay, but it's not to me. It's a but, real perplexing right. topic in my life. Right. I guess to me, I feel really superficial. But, like, also, man, like, personalities are attractive as well. Or, like, little characteristics about how they do things. Like, it's not just physical appearance, I think. Which mm. is what a lot... I mean, I guess a lot of my attraction towards people is first physical appearance, and I don't always talk to every person I'm attracted to, so it doesn't become on a deeper attraction level, which is probably good. Um, I don't know. I mean, I, I like talking about, like, cute boys that I'm getting crushes on, and then how it cute they are and how nice and sweet and sweet and cute (laughs) see that (laughs) is how I get um but yeah I mean I don't know there's bound to be more than just you who like is perplexed by attraction and doesn't regularly like see it yeah and I think I'm I'm pretty aware of the fact that like if I am, like, into someone and dating them, then this question becomes not so important. Yeah, Like, right. definitely, I didn't think about it for a long time because, well, that's not true. It's not that I didn't think about it, but it didn't seem like the answer or, like, my questions were at all distressing because, like, mm-hmm. I was in a relationship, so, like... I didn't need to, like, make any actions. But I think right. I think part of my fear is that I will, like, try to get together with someone because, like, like who I'm not attracted to because I'm like, oh, like, they're a good person. Mm-hmm. Maybe this will, like, eventually happen because, like, it clearly takes a while and then it just, like, never does. Yeah. Because it's, I'm just, like, selective or something, like, not mm-hmm. on purpose. <laughs> And so, I, so I think that's why I think about it, because I feel like I need to, like, somehow make this, like, I don't know, a thing that I can understand so that I can, like, understand it when finding people to date. Yeah. But I definitely don't, and it's just very confusing, and I don't know. Yeah. So, I don't know how. I don't, some, some people don't care I guess but I like to like have like a plan and I like to know how things work and I feel like I just Mm -hmm. don't with this yeah so that is where I'm at Mm -hmm. I'm still just thinking about that douchey college frat boy okay tell me what does a douchey college frat boy wear just like as an ending image for our (gasps) listeners I feel like he's gotta like have on board shorts or something like that like board shorts what's on the feet Right now I'm thinking, like, slides. Okay, slides, board shorts. And then, like, since it's Halloween, he's wearing, like, a Hawaiian shirt. Okay, and a Hawaiian shirt. (laughs) And sunglasses. And sunglasses. Yeah. That's the whole look. Or he's wearing, like, some sport thing. Like, like a shirt. Not a jersey. Uh, Okay, I was going to ask a jersey. (laughs) No, a shirt. Yeah. Maybe, like... Like, from a club sport they were in that summer. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Or, like, three summers ago. Mm. Is it, like, like a cut-off shirt with, like, the holes in the side? Or, like, a full long sleever? Oh, a long sleeve shirt. <laughs> but, like, a cut-off sounds more correct. Yeah. Yeah. Gotta have on sunglasses, though, I think. All right. Well, we'll just leave that image for our listeners to dwell on. Vote yes or no in the comments. Yeah. Is this an attractive image? The answer is yes. I'll comment that for us. That sounds neither cute nor pretty to me, so my answer is no. Hot to me! (laughs) Um, Okay, it's that time again, and no surprise here, we're turning it back to you. 
How do you experience attraction? You can find us always on Google Podcasts, YouTube, Spotify, Castbox, and Messy. Just search for Basically Misled. Hit us up and down at basicallymisled at gmail.com. Thanks, Thanks for, for listening, listening and good luck with your future endeavors. endeavors.